Good morning all. Lots of posters come in, so it's post bag. So here's the first one. And this is a little LED and key switch printed circuit board. Won't you come, it won't come out. So this is the PCB and uh, on it you get two of these four digit seven segment display LED blocks. You get eight discrete uh, red LEDs and you get eight push buttons. And the chip that drives all this is the TM1638. Now you don't have to look too far for information on this. We've got uh, this here, Martin's Atelier, mjoldfield.com, TM6038 and the Raspberry Pi. And although this is mainly about the Raspberry Pi, he says Arduino was here. Uh, people have already worked out how to do this on the Arduino. There's a blog about it, a library to handle the comms, and a datasheet. Let's have a look at the datasheet. Now I was thinking this was going to be some sort of Texas Instruments chip, but uh, no, very different. It's Titan Microelectronics, and it's a layered driver controller with key scan interface. But this datasheet is very difficult to read. Some of the translations are very confusing. For example this, we've got an N-pipe open drain output. Well, they mean an N-channel open drain output. It's just the translation is very dubious. Now, I'm not really expecting this to do much when I put power to it, but let's just try it anyway. VC red, brown, ground. Oh, okay, well, the little indicator light comes on, but uh, none of the displays, all these uh, LEDs up here come on. So why did I buy this? Well mainly because it was cheap. You just seem to get a lot of stuff for the money. So this is a TM1638 key display module one piece 8-bit digital LED tube and so on and so forth. £1.92 plus 69p postage from Lakey X101. So what am I going to do with this? Well one thought occurred to me, and that's a sort of uh, Arduino-based slot machine. I uh, could use some of these uh, seven-segment displays for the reels and have them scroll vertically through the display. Uh, these LEDs could indicate the number of credits, number of coin credits that you've got, and these could be the hold, start and gamble buttons. And there is something else I want to do. I want to do um, a video, or possibly a series of videos, on serial data transmission and uh, the different types and the difference between synchronous and asynchronous and I thought this display could be either on the transmitting end or the receiving end just displaying the data that's coming through. Okay next out of its bag is now these are very interesting these are the ESP8266 wireless transceivers. I'll just open the bags. Now these are tiny so I'm going to go into low-tech macro mode with my magnifying glass. So on there you can see that we've got the ESP8266EX chip and there's also a little 8-pin chip next to it which is a, probably see that better on this one because it's the right way up, it's a 25Q40 BT. Now I bought two of these modules. Um, one, this one has the 8-pin uh, header connector. That's actually on uh, these 0.1-inch spacing pins. And the other one has these little um, connectors along the outside. And what this one does is it breaks out more of the I.O. pins of the microcontroller because this chip isn't just a wireless transceiver, a Wi-Fi transceiver. It's also a full-spec microcontroller. Now a quick search for this 25Q40BT and it's clearly a, a flash memory chip or as some of them say a falsch memory chip. A SOP 8 pin. Biggest clues down here. Giga device 4 meg IC flash memory chip. So where do you start with these little modules? Well I was thinking that the other day when these were uh, on their way to being sent here. And so I started doing some reading. Now I do have lots of links, so I'm going to put uh, a fair few of those links in the description. 
but this is a very good uh, site. This is zeflo.com and this guy's built an ESP8266 weather display, um, Arduino based and uh, what he shows is the module and clearly indicates what the eight pins are in terms of their connections and then some code. Now also the wiring you can see that he's put a little jumper between VCC and one of the GPIOs to pull it up. I think I'm going to do that with a 10k resistor because apparently you need to pull that down uh, if you're I think flashing new firmware to this. I'm not entirely sure about that but uh, this looks very simple to wire up. Just VCC 3.3 volts this is not 5 volts. Ground TX and RX. I almost think I could get this to do something right now. So what I've done is I've wired this using um, some DuPont lines to one of these CH340 uh, USB to serial adapters. Now it's very important that you uh, switch it to 3.3 volts, not 5 volts on that little switch there. But otherwise it's relatively simple. There's my 10k pull-up resistor and I've just got uh, VCC and ground TX goes or well, TX on this module goes to RX on the USB to serial converter and RX to TX. I'm going to plug it in. Now all I've done is opened up um, the Arduino IDE and now I'm going to open up uh, the serial monitor. Now I've set it to 9600 board. I read somewhere that um, in the early firmware the default board rate for the module is um, the lowest one, it's off the screen, but it's 115, 200. But this one seems to work at 9600. I've got both uh, line feed and carriage return. And then you type simple AT commands. So AT, and it's actually come back OK. It's actually talking to me. So here's my setup. Here's the uh, ESP8266 module connected through to the CH340. Uh, USB to serial and then that just goes up into the USB on my PC. Right, let's try some AT commands. Right, so one of them that I remember from my reading is that uh, AT plus RST resets the module and so yes there you get some gobbledygook and then vendor AIthinker.com the version number and ready. Excellent. So I need a list of the AT commands for the ESP8266 and I found them on nerdspace.nl. Scroll all the way to the bottom and here there's a AT command table and one way to find out whether this unit is actually working and uh, can see Wi-Fi is to do this AT plus CWLAP list the access points. So let's try that one. AT plus C W L A P error. How interesting. Uh, well, that's because I haven't done, I think this is what it is. I haven't done a CW mode. Now let's put it to uh, mode three, both. Let's try that. So AT plus CW mode. Oh, I've forgotten the syntax. Okay, it appears to be equals three. Okay, and now let's do the AT plus CW list access points. Ha ha! Now git HQ, that you can see at the bottom of the list there, is uh, my Wi-Fi. So is repeat me actually. Brightbox is probably my neighbours. Now moving on from this you would do uh, a join access point where you actually um, tell it the SSID of the access point you want to join and the Wi-Fi password. And then there's a whole host of other things you can do to um, start a TCP, send data. I mean I haven't gone into this in enough detail. This is going to have to wait for uh, a tutorial specifically on this module. Now this guy at zeflo.com connected his uh, Wi-Fi module up to an Arduino. The Arduino instructed this to go and get um, 
sort of publicly accessible weather data and then he's displaying it temperature pressure and humidity on this LCD so it just gives a hint of the sort of power of this thing and I'm just intrigued by this because this device here is not just a transceiver it's actually a microcontroller I'm just wondering if some clever person could provide an SDK for this thing or an IDE a bit like Arduino this could be an Arduino killer. Now, just one final thing. In my eBay watch list, I've got this item, which is an ESP8266 serial Wi-Fi module test board plus module coexistence module. Um, let's just get in a bit closer on that diagram. You can see that the ESP8266 is mounted on some sort of personality module board here. There's a USB to serial interface there and a USB connector. And here, all the I.O. is broken out on switches and LEDs. I'm just wondering whether this could be quite an interesting thing to get. So the ESP8266 serial Wi-Fi wireless transceiver module send receive came from eBay. It was $3.21 free shipping. That's £2. If this ever does threaten Arduino, particularly something like the Arduino Yun, which I paid £55 for. Um, this at £2 is astonishing. And that came from Alice110 1983. And uh, the much smaller module, which has more of these I.O. pins broken out to the outside, uh, $3.22, so that's £2 and 5p. Again, it's uh, free shipping. And that was also from Alice 110983. And uh, just one more. Look at this. Signed for you by your postie. He's great, my postman. Now I'm pretty sure that this is from Banggood. And there's a bit of a clue down here. RC Quadcopter. So let's try and get to the RC Quadcopter because there's nothing I like better than an RC quadcopter. Green mode too. Oh now this is nice. It's called a uh, Intrude High Speed I think. It's very tiny. It's got this uh, quite nice sort of thing that will protect it from being bashed against walls. I hope I can fly a little bit better than that by now having learnt on my hub sand. But this thing is just microscopic. Looks like fun. Controller functions, setting up the controller, charging your nano drone, setting up the connection, don't bother with the warning stuff, operation instructions and trimming. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, the mini quad is the Ichin H7 2.4 gig 6 axis LED mini RC quadcopter. Uh, came from Banggood, free shipping £11.75. And so all of this little lot is today's post bag. Cheerio.